Another bit of rust for your collection? Oh, cool. I don't have this one yet. I have this feeling that hornets are gonna pop up at any moment. That's why we need to remain ready. Flowburst! Flowburst! Whew! We lost him. Safe. Watch out. I can't take much more of this. Bam! Poor guy didn't see it coming. Hey, I have a bad feeling about this. I'm coming. One down. Ooh. One left. I got this. Bam! On your mark? Anytime. Wow. Let's get it over with. Right before the picking. Harvest time. You make a good team. I have to say, it's much nicer this way. Are you seeing anything now? Nothing. It's all black. Hmm. And now? Huh? There's a bit of white noise. And now? White noise and some skips. And now? Now it just skips. Oh. Oh. What did you just do? I breathed. Then hands off everything. I think the image just got clearer. Okay, I think it's all good to go. Are you ready? Never been readier. This has to be the first time I'm actually eager to talk to my mother. Uh. Irena listening? Uh, Mom? You? Is that you? Uh, yeah, me and Kay. Hello. Where are you two? Are you doing okay? Uh, we're on Source? And... Oh, no. Did you really make it to Source? Hmm. You need to leave right away. The Council has ordered Hornet drones to be sent on your trail. Yeah, we know that. We have, uh, taken care of it. <sighs> you are completely insane. They started it! It's even worse than I thought. What? What? What is worse? Can you just tell me what's happening? <sighs> After you disappeared, the Council issued an advisory notice about you. That was a bad idea. 
people started to imagine things. That you might have managed to fall off the apiary's radar. That you might be starting a new life together in outer space against the decisions of the matchmaker. And? That's pretty accurate. That's the issue. You two have become a symbol. People are talking about following your lead. The Council cannot allow this to happen. And then there was this signal coming from a supposedly abandoned planet. Listen, you need to come home immediately. I can fix all of this. I can placate Lord Ozius. What? Why Lord Ozius? Because he's furious. What did you expect? I don't understand. Don't tell me that you're not aware. Aware of what? There are a lot of things we weren't aware of. Here's a random one. Source was colonized? <sighs> yes, that is another issue. You weren't supposed to see that. See what, exactly? <sighs> what have you seen? Quit stalling. What happened on Source? Why aren't people aware of what happened in this colony? Why is everything deserted? Okay. Yes, Exanova has contributed to the settlement of a colony on Source. At the time, I was only Vice President. And no one knows because it happened differently. Rather than integrating the planet to the apiary, they decided to make a... a sort of... an external colony. What does that mean? It means that they only came in to plunder the flow. It's a little more complex than that. Uh-huh. But yes... Broadly speaking, that's it. Exanova had just completed work on a new experimental power plant. Its drill could extract flow directly from the planet's core, then the flow was condensed to make transport easier. Huh. That seems dangerous. As long as the plant is properly maintained, it's safe. And then? The plant was not properly maintained. After about 30 years, the infrastructure started to age. The president of Exanova at the time figured that replacing it would be too costly. Well, you saw the end result. The rust? I'm sorry? The rust. That red stuff. It's everywhere. Oh, that. Sure, kind of. But what I meant was the explosion. The capacitor tanks started to develop a crack. The flow became unstable, which triggered a chain reaction into the core, and... Did you? Hold on. You precipitated the explosion of an entire planet just for some flow? It's an unfortunate chain of events, which... And the people. The people who lived and worked on Source. What happened to them? Most of them were evacuated, but some weren't so lucky. I would love to give you more details, but you don't have a lot of time. The Council has decided to make an example of you. If they catch you here, there's nothing I can do for you. But if you come back now, I could probably smooth things over. We'll match you up with your respective mates. We'll get you to read a disclaimer letter. We'll make something up. Everything will be back to normal. Everything's already normal. Everything's already normal. I love Kay, and Kay loves me. We're together. That's normal. But you're not the only two people in this universe. Think about the others. Think about the long run. The matchmaker may not be the best system, but it's the least bad that we found. Do you want to go back to the days of the Mark? Recreate the inequalities that the Elders have worked so hard to erase. You really think you're much happier now? That's great. But your selfishness has already left two other people in the dust. So now, can you imagine if everyone did what you did? There's some room left on Source. And then what? Are you going to plan a self-governing community? Without a matchmaker? How long until it crumbles into pieces? Until the mark comes to take it all away? The matchmaker is a guarantee. It ensures what we are building together will not crumble beneath our feet. The promise of a future. Durable. Everlasting. Can you say that you'll hold that promise? Why do you care? We love each other. But you will also love your mates. And they will love you back. Love does not have to be a large fire which consumes everything. You have to build it, you have to keep it alive. Just like the chimney fires in fairy tales which keep us warm in the winter. Isn't that kind of love at least as beautiful as yours? Huh. You. 
Have you ever in your life had to question the love that your mother and I had for each other? Was it any less than the one that you share? No, but... Love is greater and more complex than you can imagine. Love always finds a way. You will always find a way as well. We'll have to act fast to clean up your mess. Our mess. What about your mess? Who's gonna clean that up? Who will fix Source? Source is history. So is the apiary. Come on, you. Let's go. No, wait, you can't! I'm sorry I insisted on- Kay. <sighs> Do you mind if we go back to the nest? I'm not really feeling up to, um, up to anything, actually. You know what? You're right. Let's go home. Are you... okay? You haven't said a word the whole trip back. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. It's just a lot to take in. I can't believe my mom hid all this from me. This whole time. Get in here. At least now we know. That's what we wanted, isn't it? Yeah. There's still one thing I don't really understand. She mentioned Lord Ozius at one point. I don't understand what that Boron has to do with all this. He's too young to have been involved in the whole secret colony thing. I mean, sure, he's pretty tight with the council. But I still don't get how this is any of his business. I, uh, I, uh, I think I know. Oh, yeah? Do you promise you won't get mad? What? Why would I get mad? It's about the guy I was matched with. Who cares about that guy, though? Right. Uh, uh, I mean... Hold on. Are you telling me that Ozius is your partner? Um... Ozius? The Ozius, Blute Hole in Chief. The very one. And you are telling me now? You promised you wouldn't get mad. I'm not getting mad. But you, still. This is one of the most influential and demented people in the apiary. You never considered that I might find this tidbit to be important? I was scared you would change your mind if I told you. I might have changed my mind, yes. Fleeing the apiary is one thing. But Lord Ozius is a maniac. You humiliated him by refusing the match. He'll never give up on us. I humiliated him? We left together in case you missed it. He is your partner. So it's my fault that I was matched up with a psychopath? All I'm saying is that you could have told me. It's also a matter of establishing trust, you. You know, just five minutes ago, you were complaining about your mom hiding stuff from you. But you're doing the exact same to me. Obviously, you got that from her. Yeah, well, I have no idea who you're taking after, but I understand why they no longer wanted you. Wow. Seriously? Couldn't pick a better angle? Oh, that's not what I meant. Oh, yeah? What did you mean then? I don't know. You're raising your voice. I'll raise mine. It just came out. Well, let me tell you that I'm quite shocked by what just came out. Is that how you spoke to Ozius? Okay. That's it. Go bloot yourself, Kay. I don't want to hear from you. Works for me. I have nothing left to say. You? You? Where are you hiding? You? <sighs> okay, well, great. All right then, I don't care. I have the nest to myself.
Uh, don't we have something for stomach pains? No big deal. It'll work itself out. <sighs> no. I'm not feeling that low. <sighs> okay, you. You won. I, I can't stay mad at you. Come back. Let's talk about this calmly. You? Oink. I need some help. Have you seen you? Nod your head if she went that way. You don't understand me, do you? That's all right. Loot. Use the one who took the radar. Are you there? I I'm sorry about last night, but really it was kind of your fault as well. Okay, sorry, never mind. Please, come back. Loot. Okay, everything's fine. I'm alive. But you, if anything happened to her, I'll... You? This isn't funny! I'm getting worried! If you're trying to make me feel guilty, well... Well, you won. Where are you, you? When you were leaving home in the middle of the night in the apiary, you did so to come and join me. But now, you don't even have anyone else to go to. Anyone to talk to. Huh. The VidChat! Oh no. You? You! No! Okay? Mm. Oh, you, you scared me. I thought you were... Oh! Don't move. You might have broken something. No, 
No, I, I think I'm okay. This isn't the highest I've fallen. What happened? I, uh, I don't know. I was angry. I wanted to get back to the vid chat to tell my mom to come and get me. And then, when I got back up there, I realized it was completely stupid. But I couldn't go home either, and I was still angry, and I was sad. And I was ashamed. And I was scared of your reaction if you knew that I came here. So, I just stayed up there, crying. And right when my legs started hurting from standing and my eyes started hurting from crying, boom bada boom. I am so sorry, Kay. No, I'm sorry. I should have never said those things to you. Do you still love me? No. I love you even more. What? But why? I love you a little more every second that passes. That's how it is. You can't fight it. Ah, see? Right now I love you a little more. And now a little more. Ah, we have to get back together soon, because I don't know what to do with all this love. <laughs> you idiot. Can you walk? I think I can. Okay, great. You should try to walk along the edge. I'll do the same. We'll find a way to cross eventually. And if there's no way? Then we'll make one. Okay. <sighs> Walk along the edge. Walk along the edge. <laughs> he can talk. He didn't even say which way I should go. I feel like I'm hearing his voice. Loot. That's it. I just thought about eating. I'm done. been here before? No. I don't think so. Kay would know.
You miss one person, and everything's rotten. I hope everything's okay with him. Poor guy. He must be terrified without me. Is it time to eat now? What got into you? Poor you. What were you thinking? That mom was gonna fix it all with her magic wand? Ludicrous. You are Lou de Chris. And now? You're all alone in the dark. And I should say, you deserve it. But still, I hope it'll be over soon. Because if you're already talking to yourself after one day, I don't want to think what will happen after one week. In the end, Kay was kind of right. Maybe you should have mentioned Ozius earlier. But you had no idea your mom was gonna ruin it all. You don't need her. You don't need anyone. Only Kay. Okay, now that's a door. Knock, knock. Anyone there? Ugh. Hmm. That would have been too easy. Open door. Open door, please. Ugh! Ugh! I didn't even want to go inside anyway. this because of that blur on Ozius. Oh, if I ever see him again.
Ugh, that's not him. Oh, no, I don't have time to take care of you now, buddy. Am I walking in a circle right now? No. Maybe not. I hope not. <sighs> I need to find Kay first. We can paddle these wares later. You? Okay. Okay. I told you we'd find a way. Yeah. Well, I'm the one who did all the work. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Let's not fight again. Agreed. At least that's one topic we won't fight over. <laughs> you know, when I was up there, I realized something. I don't know if they'll keep sending in drones. I don't know if we can live here. I don't know if we'll end up at the bottom of a crevasse one morning. Or torn to shreds by a beast that was too big for us to handle. Or put to death by the apiary. But I know that I never want to be away from you again. And if staying here is the only way, then I want to stay here. How do I seal this deal? A kiss. <laughs> hey, by here, I meant source. Not like right here. You can let go of my butt now. No. Mm. Okay. I saw a large door with a weird symbol not far from here. I'll have to show it to you when I get the chance. What's behind it? I don't know, actually. I wasn't able to open it. Did you try a flow burst? Of course I tried. What do you think I am? All right. I guess you'll have to show me. That's what I'm telling you. Want to go in? Hey, this place is super nice. Kay, look, there's a library. That's great. You were just complaining you had no reading material. Oof, Glishtentar? Uh, have you ever heard of a book titled Oof, Glishtentar? No. This one here is entitled Gorgenamuld. Flurm Glyphen. What does Flurm Glyphen mean? Oh. I have Flurm Glyphen Ostruisi here. It must be a sequel. Ugh. Please don't tell me all of the books in this library are written in this weird language. I'm about to cry. Ah. 
I have one with images. If you think I'll be satisfied with a children's picture book... Who said it was a children's book? Check it out. Huh? <sighs> okay. We'll take this one.